Hi everyone. I hope you've all had a good weekend. I just thought I'd come on. Um, I found the last sort of few Fridays quite difficult to um, get on. I've had classes or been busy with the day job. Um, and actually I think Sundays are gonna be much, much easier to get on um, to do some crafting. Um, it's given me the weekend to get sorted and I can have stuff ready. So hopefully, fingers crossed, Sunday seem to be uh, the better day. So we'll go with that for now. Um, okay, um, I am firstly, I've got all these lovely swaps. So I've got a big basket of swaps. So I'm just gonna show you the swaps and the bits and pieces um, that I got from having been on stage. <laughs> and I can... Ema sent me a message earlier, she was calling me Mrs Artisan. <laughs> I quite liked it. <laughs> um, so, big news. Um, I will start with the, that. Um, the um, Stamping Up do, um, kind of, like they have a team of people that are artisans for the year um, and you can apply for <laughs> um, the... Oh, lovely to meet you too. Um, you can apply to be the artisan or an artisan for stamping up for, for the coming year. Um, I've applied once before um, and um, heard nothing and I thought I'll just I'll, I'll apply again. It's, you know, it's worth applying. Um, not thinking really that I would have a chance and um, got a phone call from stamping up in the US. Um, completely took me by surprise because they phoned me on my home phone to say you've been chosen to be the, the an artisan for the UK um, so proceeded to <laughs> dance dance around my kitchen like a crazy loon um, no one else was in the house so that was fine um, but then I wasn't allowed to tell anyone for weeks and weeks so I've been busting to sort of um, tell everybody um, and I've had to keep keep the secret. So um, at, on stage the other weekend, it was shared with everybody. Um, and for the UK, it's myself and um, the lovely Rhoda. And then there's total, there's 16 of us um, who will be um, doing blog posts, etc., for stamping up. But um, this is the box that I was presented with. Um, so it's a beautiful um, box. And, oh, thanks everyone. I'm slightly feeling the pressure now, but it's fine. Um, and then inside um, is the lovely um, stamp with my um, name on, which I'm very excited about. That's the whole reason I applied. <laughs> um, so, and then um, this um, beautiful um, Tiffany bracelet. So I was super excited to see this. Um, which is actually a really unexpected right so it's um it's got artisan on that side and the stamping up logo um so that's really gorgeous i keep just popping it back in the pouch like i need to start wearing it i keep putting it back in the pouch and um popping it back in the box um so yeah so that was some lovely goodies um Thanks everyone. I'm just, yeah, I just, as I say, it's kind of started to sink in a little bit because um, I'm starting to get sort of um, emails through of things that are going to be coming up and um, sort of adding to Facebook groups and things like that with it. Um, but yeah, it, it's, um, it was kind of like um, a, bit of, a bit of a shock and then also kind of like, oh, it's actually, it's actually me. So that's, um, uh, amazing so it's going to be a busy busy year um with stamping up for me um it was also my first chance to um have um got to center stage um so this time round was the first time i got to go to the friday night meal which was lovely um and that sort of it was tables of demonstrators that i got to have um proper talk chat to and have a proper evening with and it was um sort of there was a couple of business talks and bits and pieces like that but it was a really fun evening um and got to share it with people who are um on here now and fabulous um friends through stamping up so that was awesome that evening um and natalie who's um sort of up line up line 
um, gave us a lovely gift. So we've got a little um, bag and um, mug and bits and pieces inside. So thank you, Natalie, for that. Um, that's lovely. Um, I've got lots of bits and pieces. Um, Kim, I've got lots of bits to show you. So there was some lovely cards. Um, I'm going to kind of whiz through these slightly because otherwise I'm going to be on here for hours and hours and hours. Um, gorgeous um, gift bag and it's got some little bow bits inside um, the in colour bows. I'll get them out. These ones. So they'll be going on a project um, very soon. So there's those bits. Um, what else can I show you? Oh, the t shirt. Um, hi, Janet, you're right. Um, at the centre stage, we were um, given the a Stampin' Up t shirt, um, which is really lovely. I should have been wearing it tonight, really, but <laughs> I keep just folding things and putting it back in the pile. Um, at some point, I'm going to actually have to put them away um, and use them. So that's those bits. Um, what else is that? Yeah. So lots of little bits and pieces, um, and then there was a lovely notebook and things like that. But if you ever get a chance to um, get to an on stage or centre stage, it is um, loads of fun and well worth it. Um, a really nice notebook, so she'll be using that for planning. Um, I will actually write in it. There's many I have in a drawer that I've just kept beautiful, um, and I just get them out and look at them and haven't actually used them. Um, got a little tote bag as well. Um, it's 30 years stamping anniversary. Stamping up is 30 years. Um, so we've got a cool pin badge as well. Um, so just lots of little, little treats um, and and bigger treats etc. Over the weekend. Um, but part of being at the um, on stage is that your um, you get a tote bag or a bag. And inside the bag is obviously the um, sneak peek, so we get to see the new catalogue um, that's going to be coming out in the new year. Um, and also a stamp set, which I'm going to be sharing with you tonight, which is this one here. Um, so everyone received this one, which is called Pitch Perfect Birthday. And it's got like um, a birthday bow and candles and confetti and things like that. So I'm going to make a card um, with that one this evening. Um, so I'm going to flip you around and share with you some of the lovely swaps that I got. Um, let's hook you onto there. So first up we have, um, again, I'm going to go through these fairly quickly, so kind of apologies, um, this, this I've got some really gorgeous stuff, but otherwise I am going to literally be here for the evening, so, which I'm sorry, <laughs> some of you won't mind, but, um, so this one here was a lovely bookmark done with the... Um, Colourful Seasons and that was by Debbie Dramis, so thank you Debbie, and that's got lots of, of the lovely linen thread etc on that, so that shall be used. Um, this was a little um, bag with a set of um, like tissues, travel tissues in there, um, and the lady that had done this, I don't think her name is on this. No, so whoever you were that did this did them in all different colours. So she had purple ones and pink ones, um, and I had a whole rack of them. So I spent must have spent ages doing those. So they're very lovely, and I love the Daisy Punch anyway. So that's gorgeous. Um, this card is by Michaela, Michaela at the Crafty Oink Pen, um, and these are up on her blog I think today. So if you want more details on there, you can pop on over and see her. Um, but love the way the heart is like layered up so that's really lovely gorgeous gorgeous um 
this one here, this the, whoever it was, Julie Smith, amazing. Um, these were die cut and then hand stitched each one, and the bell has been stitched on. I mean, the hours of work that must have gone into those, incredible. And she'd done loads of them as well. So, thank you very much, Julie. It's gorgeous. Um. They've got lots of little treat boxes. These are always really cute. I like little crackers and bags. And what else, what else? Um, this bauble. So these are all like little packages. So they were lovely. Uh, that's Rebecca, Rebecca Wilmore. She's gone off to work this evening, so she's not live, but apparently she's going to catch up. So thank you, Rebecca, when you get around to watching this. Gorgeous. Um, and that's the Lemon Lime Twist ribbon. So that's really lovely. And it's a nice size, so good for little little treats that you want to put in there. This Christ I love a Christmas cracker. Um, so that's using the punch board. And there's lots of instructions out there for those. So thank you. I'm sure there's maybe, let me have a look, I'm sure there's maybe a name tucked inside. Let's have a little look. Oh, mini pack of polos. Uh, Penny, Penny cared. Uh, and, yeah, it just says she's over on Facebook. No, I was just looking for a blog or something. But, yeah, thank you very much, Penny. They're gorgeous. Um... I'll tie that back up in a bit. Um, this one was um, Sybil. And where is she? Wink and a smile, cards and crafts. Um, I won't be able to unknot that just now, but I think there's a little something in there. Some chocolates went quite quickly. <laughs> the ones that had easy access, I have to say, um, have gone quite swiftly. Um, uh, that has a little chocolate in there or oh, a milka do you like a milka so that's really cute that would make a nice advent if you made lots of those you could kind of string them up or what have you so i'll pop the ribbon in there thank you that's oh that's tracy and that's she's over at love from the fairies tracy mcdonald so thank you thank you tracy um this one was from a lady who was sitting on the same table as um myself and she has, I'm sure her name is Rachel, just check myself, yeah, Rachel, um, and she has curled bits of the music paper and then tucked them inside the bauble and then put that into a hanger, how gorgeous is that? Um, so yeah, really love that. Love it, love it, love it. I shall perhaps be purchasing some little baubles off, um, good old Amazon or eBay or somewhere like that myself, um, to case that idea. This gorgeous tag had a lovely cellophane bag with some really nice chocolates in. Um, they didn't really last that, not that, not that long. They were, they were delicious, so thank you. Um, these were, uh, Jilly Rickards, and uh, Jilly is Creative Corner, I don't want to tear her, well, I don't want to tear her label at the minute, but you can see in there that there are, um, like, tags for, um, presents or things. I know, look, <laughs> my chocolates disappeared, I, I don't know how that happened, they just vanished. They were just too nice. Uh, what's this one? This one was Rebecca Linfield, Merry Little Labels Punch, and lots of little um, Wink of Stella on there. So, um, and that's the lovely um, copper. Uh, it's not really a twine, but it kind of stretches out, but that's really nice. So that would look lovely on a gift. Thank you all. This one here is a little calendar so that will get sat out um 
and again I don't think oh yeah there we are uh, Little Things by Gillian so I'm assuming her name is Gillian um, so thank you Gillian um, Gillian had done them in all sorts of different colours um, which is always a challenge when people have baskets full of lovely things they're all in different colours and then they make you choose um, so uh, this one is from Zoe Tant I'm sure yeah so lovely sponging and really different to see the snowflakes in the green and the red. I think they really pop in those colours. So thank you to Zoe. Um, this one is from Ema and she's also got some lovely Wink of Stella on her coloured presents and the stitched um, framelits. Um, and the little hearts behind just make that pop up and that's raised up with some... Uh, metallic thread just behind just um which is a nice touch there as well so that's gorgeous thank you Ema. um this little one love this um i've seen these lots or about on pinterest but i have my own little hedgehog now um so and because she's got a bow it's definitely a she so she is super cute um unfortunately no name but um love that I think that's really gorgeous and that's done with the painted harvest the sunflower so if you haven't seen that that's a really nice way to use the sunflower um, this one is Gina lovely Gina so it's a fancy fold um, and really lovely way to use the houses so super cute um, this one is from Caro so Caroline Torres Thomas uh, um, open the packet love this I really overlooked this stamp set in the catalogue and it's the box of chocolates but I just love the clean and simple line of that I just think it really pops love that and she's also tied lots and lots and lots of bows to go on her swap so um, that's very much appreciated um, love that uh, what else got loads of little bits um oh this one there's no getting away with sneaking some chocolates out of this one i keep going to take a chocolate out at a time and then my husband's like oh those bells are jingling again i should just take them out all in one go but these were um little pots of gold and this was um leslie lenden um but how gorgeous is that i think they would be great um and really popular love the jingling um, for a school fair or a craft fair or something like that. I think they would be um, really, really popular. So, love that. Thank you. I'm going to put that somewhere where it's not going to jingle. Um, this one was a little coffee cup, like a little pouch holder. I think it would have had something in it. I feel like maybe... Yeah, it was these coffee beans, um, so they were just tucked inside. They seem to have separate. I'm, I'm going with that. Um, and that was from Sarah Sayers. Um, so thank you, Sarah. And she's put some lovely um, glossy accents on the top of that. So that's lovely. Uh, Helen Jennings. I can never remember the name of that tree set, but not what it's a it, not one I have actually. Um, so always nice to have one of a set that you don't own so that's uh, and that's a really nice thing about swapping when you go to any kind of event like this is that you you swap with others and get loads of stuff back that you haven't got yourself um, these were by Sasha so these are old catalogue pages made up into envelopes with the envelope punch board um, which is a really clever idea and then her card using uh, floral statements so that's in the black but then loads of shimmer so very very glitzy so the perfect kind of teenage girly card um so Kat, Kat was asking if they were given to me on stage or sent to me directly no these were all on stage swap so I took 40 of my card front and then I swapped them with all the other demos in the room who also had their swaps so I gave out mine and then I got back all the different ones um, which I can then you put on display boards or share with my customers etc 
Um, so this is a cute little Santa with a little chocolate inside. Again, I'm not sure how the chocolate has survived, but um, I'm sure I can put, put that right this evening. Um, this one, so a couple of bookmarks. Prudence Jones and... Uh, oh, it just says the instructions, but not the person. So thank you to whoever gave us um, these ones. So again, a little collection of bookmarks. So they're super sweet. Thank you. Um... This one's got the balloon set with a wink of Stella and again, um, handmade envelope with a little tea bag inside. So that's really, come, us, come let us sit together and drink tea. It's always, always time for tea. Um, oh, thanks, Kim. Happiness is a cup of coffee shared with a friend. Well, personally, I wouldn't want to share my cup of coffee with a friend, but having a cup of coffee with a friend, definitely in order always um crafted with love allison i love that and i like the little heart sticking out the top that's gorgeous um barbara booth again some lovely sponging and the flowers stamped over this isn't this isn't a set i've got either actually but i really like that bamboo so that's i'm pleased to have received that that's amanda so thank you amanda that will go into my collection i can share that and i love the um, sponging of the mountains and stuff that must have taken you ages this one here is um, Liz Yule um, and I don't think you can go wrong with this stamp set this is the oh so eclectic um, and in really nice colours that kind of pop so love that and then these are hand drawn around the outside so again must have taken um, ages to have done that on however many swaps that she did so thank you um this one is from diane uh at crafty ducks and i don't know if you can see that on here how gorgeous is that background that is um like a tissue faux linen technique um so the tissue paper and the glue so it's stamped and then like the tissue paper is um put stick down onto the whisper white to give that linen look so really gorgeous um what else what else I've got a few extra bits in here i'm nearly there i'm nearly there so i've got a my valentine's one love that berry burst that's really nice thank you mel that's gorgeous uh annie the cat and the embossing paste um if you haven't got your hands on the embossing paste um there is more coming um, and um, you'll definitely um, need to have a go with that because it just gives lovely textures to the background. This one has a little note card envelope and everything um, and that's a hay friend and that one is one layer with the orange blossom and that's the in colour so you've got fresh fig, berry burst, pink, uh, mm, powder pink, don't know why I started naming colours because now I'm testing my tranquil tide, lemon lime twist. Um, and yeah, they look, and she's got some really delicate little pearls on there as well, so they're really cute. Um, so that's those. Mm. And the piggy, hogs and kisses. How sweet is that? And again, the stitch framelits. Um, I just don't think you can go wrong with those stitch framelits if you haven't got them in your stash. They are a definite kind of essential. They go with so much stuff. Um, I use them loads. Uh, Lavina? Lavi Lavina. I'm not going to try and pronounce your, your surname, but that is lovely. Thank you so much. Um, and another little bookmark. And these have got the blends on. So again, if you haven't had a go with the stamping blends, they just make colouring really easy. Um, so that's all of those and then my lovely Kim thank you Kim um look at the check this out uh thanks for being you her little fairy and I've got my own um bone folder not to be shared at class <laughs> um this is one that will be staying in my pot at home Check this out. Oh, if I hadn't stuck it to itself. Hang on. 
Not only has she made a gorgeous pouch for it, but look, proper stamping up bone folder with my name on. How awesome is that? Love it. So that will stay in its special pouch and just sit and look pretty on my desk and occasionally I might use it, but nobody else will. So let me just put that to one side. Um, and the last one to share with you is my swap. So, oh, has the video gone? Oh, hopefully you're all still there. My iPad's gone a bit funny. Um, but this was my swap. So this is using the, um, oh, I should really remember the name of things. The butterfly set, watercolour wings, watercolour wings, um, just all in the black. So there's like three layers to that, but I just did it all in the black. And then there's like a black background. And then this background swoosh is um, watercolour paper with um oh, thanks again with pumpkin pie swooshed down the background and then i've dropped um melon mambo into that and you get like a corally color um the black and white striped ribbon was um a christmas ribbon um but doesn't need to be for christmas um and the oh hello is from the new blends color me happy set um it's like um it's a solid you get the background rather than the letters so you get that black background or whatever color you stamp in so that was mine um so that's it for the swap so thank you to everyone uh, amazing oh, i didn't read your other comment jenny isn't that Let me pop them back in there. I'm just going to clear my desk. One sec, one sec. Let me get them out of the way. Oh, I've lost a... Oh, no, that's there. Lost a sticky. Whoop. You'll hear the jingling of the bells as the basket gets put back down. Jingle, jingle. <laughs> uh, I think I'm going to attach them to my swap basket, um, Leslie. Everyone, I'll go around if I'm doing swap and just jingle. Um, what else have I got to show you? Um, shall I do some stamping? Let's do some stamping. Ooh, uh, do some stamping. Oh, I've got my mug. I've got my tea in my Stampin' Up mug. I clearly can't tip it, but I can assure you it says Stampin' Up on it. Mm. Right, so I'm going to use this stamp set, which is the perfect birthday, picture perfect birthday. I'm so rubbish with the name. I'm just going to use um, a bit of Whisper White. So this is normal thickness Whisper White rather than the extra thick. And I've cut that to 14.9. Let me just get my bone folder out. One second. <laughs> um, I'm going to, oh, look at that, Kim. It's like the best fold ever with that bone folder. <laughs> it's because it's got my name on it. <laughs> oh, the, the, the mug was my favourite thing as well. Absolutely love it. I wish I could have a set of six. I want to be able to buy a matching set so I can have them at classes. I really, really like them. Um, I think we should sandbox it. All right, okay, so I'm going to use the um, Melon Mambo and the Bermuda Bay inks. Does anyone want to see the finished card or do you want me just to make the card and then you can see the card at the end? Um, I'll wait kind of your comments to come up. I'm going to start stamping, but if anyone wants to actually see the card that I'm making before I've made it, then just shout up. Um, so going to uh, stamp with the um, bow so I'm going to come just slightly in from the edge um, with the pink and I'm leaving a bit of a space because I'm going to infill that space with another bow 
going to surprise you. <laughs> and then here's Blue Peter Styly. Um, I've cut these out, so but I will show you how I've done that. So on a post-it note, I'm going to let you fight it out amongst yourselves. <laughs> uh, on the stickier top part of the post-it note, you would just stamp out the image and then cut cut that round to give yourself a mask. So that's kind of what I've done to get those. So you get the idea. Um, outvoted. Yeah. Um, so let's have a look. Do, 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 do. So I'm going to then cover up the ones that I've just done. Um, I'll cover those up with the mask and then I'm going to clean that up and use the Bermuda Bay. So that's then going to tuck behind. Oh, I've just stamped over that one. Ah, oh, rats. Let's do another one. I was busy chatting. use that for something else in a minute that's fine right take two right so this time I must focus <laughs> right mask I reckon you get quite a lot of mileage out of these masks. I think they would kind of go um, for a number of makes. Let's go that way around. Right. Bermuda Bay. Right. Move the mask, Emma. <laughs> Ooh, what you make? What you making, Kim? You have to. Always, always, Leah. <laughs> My desk is full of things I've pulled apart, etc. You never get it quite right. That's how you. That's how you're creative. So, right. Let's pull that down. And another one. And then I'm just going to do the bottom bit there. So that's it filled up. So now there is like a shadow stamp in this set. So I'm just going to then go, I could probably should have done this while I was with the mask. So I'm going to stamp off and then put the lighter colour into the inside. It gives like a shadow. Um, probably could have done this at the same time, but that's fine. And one in there. Oh. As long as it's roughly covered, it's fine. I don't think it'll go over it too much. There you go. Right, so I'm done with those. So that's then your line of bows. Um. Stamp off and shadows. I keep telling myself to stamp off. Stamp off, stamp off. Oh, cool. So there is your line of bows. So I'm then going to. Um, trim the edge so you could have done this a bit more um, jaunty as a jaunty angle is that the right word you could have done it a bit more staggered I suppose to give it more of a an effect I'm leaving a white edge I'm not doing it exactly perfect right to the edge because there's the white in amongst the bow so I think it look, it'll look strange if it kind of it's cut very close plus I say that it's easier to 
have like a white edge. Concentration. This is the first girl I've had with the stamps ever. I like it. I like it a lot. Right. Um, and then I've cut a piece of. I've got Melon Mambo, which is the height of the card, and then I've just cut to the um, edge. The trimmer, so that's an uh, inch and a quarter, which is that strip, and that is going to sit on the inside of the card. I'm just going to fast use that. That's going to pop there. So when that comes over, you've got a pop of pink. On that, I've got on my other one, it's a slightly deeper edge actually. I've gone a bit bit closer, but so you could have moved them, I could have moved them back slightly, um, but still works fine. And then in that set, you've got the happiest of um, birthdays to you, which I really like. I celebrate the good stuff, cue the confetti. Uh, today, we celebrate a wonderful brilliant fabulous you and treat yourself and then a happy birthday i think they're all great sayings for a birthday so i think that's going to get a lot of use from me um so just the bermuda bay but if you wanted to kind of step it up a bit you could um do some heat embossing with those and then um I'm going to use this. So where I'd mucked that one up earlier, I actually want um, to find the right way around. There we go. Use that. So I'm going to cut one of extra of these out. So this is going to go on by the words just to give it a little accent. I haven't looked actually, I don't know if there's a die for this set. Um, no. To be fair, there's not much else in the set that you would need to die cut out, so. I keep saying that. I don't mind a bit of fussy cutting there. I'm fine with it. Um, right, so we've got that. And then um, I'm going to get the oh, this ribbon. This is the Bermuda Bay. How nice is that ribbon? Um, this one comes in grey, garden green and look. I couldn't make my mind up which colour I wanted so I got all four. Um, but love those. I think they're my favourites of the ribbons. I love those silky ones. Um, so this one, we're just going to chop a bit. Oh, kind of. About that much. And so a bit of fast fuse. Right, I'm just going to loop that over and then a couple of dimensionals on there and that's there and then just um, some extra sparkles so I have used the iridescent sequins which are super pretty. They are like greens and yellows and corals. Um, I don't think you can really go wrong with those. Um, to get these sequins on, I have just, um, let me just close those inks up. I've 
put the glue to the paper first because then you can kind of control the amount that you're going to put on. So I'm just going to put little touches and I'm barely squeezing the glue. So can you see I've just got like little dots of glue. Um, and that's it. Then I will drop the sequins on top of that glue and leave it to dry. Because if you try and kind of glue the sequin and add them on and all that, it just gets messy. So you just have to kind of drop it on and then trust that actually, if you just leave it, they will dry and they will stay on. Um, kind of if you fiddle around too much, they tend to go a bit awry. But coming up in the new catalogue, there is some sequins that are adhesive. So that will be, um, and I've got, I love these sequins too. I'll show you one of the colours. These are the Lemon Lime Twist. There's Pool Party, there's Orange, but these are on a sheet, which have got adhesive on the back. So they will make... Kind of, I love these, but these are really quick and easy, aren't they? So that's great. Um, so I've got some sparkles on there, and that's it. That's the card. So that was as I had made it earlier. So bright, bold, um, kind of funky colours. Um, I've now got a load of November birthdays so these are all the birthday cards I need to send out and we're nearly in December <laughs> but that's now two of them done because um I think I've kind of got busy busy with all the Christmas cards and um forget that I've actually got a load of um birthday cards to make too so those will be winging them their way out to um a couple of people um tomorrow so there are the cards um, and I think that is it. Let me just flip you back around. Hello, hello. Um, I could clearly craft all evening, um, but um, I'm going to have to uh, carry on carry on making my birthday cards um, for those that I've got to go out. And I shall leave you lovely people. Um, but I'm going to do my Facebook lives, um, as I say, I think regularly on a Sunday because um, I just think I've got everything done for the weekend and I'm a bit more chilled at this sort of end of the weekend. Um, so yeah, it just seems to work out. But um, and I, d I don't have any classes, so um, why the sad faces? Because <laughs> I'm going. Um, I shall be back towards the end of the week. Um, for those that are local to me, I meant to say actually, for those that are local, I have um, on Friday the, hang on one sec, Friday the 24th, so this Friday, this Friday I have um, coffee and a card, uh, which is um, at the Establo Lounge in Rustington. It's from 10.30 to 12.30, it's drop-in, um, they do great coffee, they do great food, um, So, and I will be doing um, a Christmas card that you can um, make and take that away. So £5 for making the card and then you'll get a coffee or a tea to, to, to um, have while you make your card. Um, so that's Friday the 24th and then um, mm -mm, December, December, the 2nd, Saturday the 2nd of December. Um, is the first day of the Christmas cheer challenge that I'll be doing and I'm hoping to make 500 um, cards donate to Ronald McDonald House Charity. Um, I don't know if you can see behind me. Sure. I've started to prep some card bases. So that's 192 card bases so I've got a little way to go yet um, and the bits to go on the front but um, if you would like to come and help, um, I'll be at Wick Hall in Littlehampton from 10 till 3 on the Saturday. Um, and then I'll be having a second day at my own home on the Sunday because I do feel that probably um, it might go over the two days. So if you want to come and join um, on either of the two days, then just let me know. 
Um, so yeah, that's it from me. And I will be back next week. But um, thank you all for your lovely comments. Thank you for joining in. And um, I hope you enjoyed the card. I'll put it up on my um, blog and Facebook page when it's better daylight for taking photos. So that's it. Thank you very much. See you next week. Bye everyone.